Hey guys, it's Liz. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a very good recipe that my coworkers absolutely love. I always hear them talking about it and I always hear them bragging on me and I love it so much. Any of my coworkers are out there? How you guys doing? Anyway, so we're making our my Reese's cupcakes today and in the next video we're going to do the Reese's cupcakes transformed into a nice birthday cake size. So like a nice six inch with a nice height to it, make it look real cute. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to make this cake, you're just going to use your favorite chocolate cake mix. Um, I would make a normal chocolate cake, but I don't have a recipe that I like right now, so I'm just going to use a cake mix. I also have my, instead of water that the cake mix calls for, I like to use milk. Because it's a much creamier consistency, and I really like how the cakes turn out. They're very moist and uh, fluffy. And then I already have my oil in the bowl right now. And I have brown eggs that I like to use. Uh, they're actually from my boyfriend's farm. He has chickens at his house, and he gives me eggs that I use in my baking. And it actually gives a nice, rich flavor. Because all the eggs at the store, usually I feel, taste the same. These taste a whole lot better. So we're going to use them in our mix. For inside the cupcakes... We have our Reese's Cups. I'll tell you what we're going to do with these uh, when we get done with the batter. And then we also... Can I get those Reese's Pieces back, please? Someone seems to have stolen my Reese's Pieces. For on top, we're going to use the Reese's Pieces as decor. And then we have a peanut butter buttercream that I'll, let, I'll show you how to do. Hey. We have a peanut butter buttercream that I'll show you how to do right when we get done. All right, so in your mixing bowl, you're gonna have, I have my oil in here. I got my eggs right here. You wanna put all your wet ingredients in first because it just helps the ingredients not stick to the bottom and cake on there. You got your milk. And some people would mix this all together right now. I don't see a need to. And you got your cake mix, your cake mix. And you're just gonna follow the directions on the bag and get your batter going. And once it's done, you're gonna scoop it using a number 40 scoop into your cupcake paper lined muffin tin. And now we're gonna use our Reese's peanut butter cup in the cupcake, not on top. So, oh, hold on. These need to be unwrapped. We can't bake them with the paper on them. Give me a second. Hey, would you look at that? All right, now we're gonna take the unwrapped Reese's and you're just gonna put them inside. Just gonna set them on top and you're gonna press them in just enough so that you can see the batter coming up just right about to the top of the Reese's. I'm gonna do that for the rest. Then stick them in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes or until they get nice and fluffy on the top. And these are kind of a peekaboo cupcake because they do have these inside of them. They're not going to be able to see them because the batter is going to cook over, which is why I didn't tell you to check it with a toothpick because you're just going to go into peanut butter. You can't tell if your cupcake's done. So just them bake until they're nice and fluffy. I got the cupcakes back out of the oven. They're just a little bit bouncy like you can press them down but they're coming right back up and while those are cooling over here we're gonna make our peanut butter buttercream you're gonna need two sticks of butter two cups of peanut butter got a nice two pound bag of sifted powdered sugar and we have a little vanilla extract and some milk as well, just to uh, dissolve the powdered sugar once it gets in the mixture. So first you're gonna start off and you're gonna put your two sticks of butter in the bowl. We don't need the wrapper. And then you're going to take your peanut butter. If you have a better bowl than this to measure your peanut butter in, I would suggest it because it's going to be a pain to get this out, but we're going to do it. Okay. 
All right, now that that's all in there, you're gonna take your whisk attachment and I will suggest use an electric mixer for this if you try and do this with your hand. Your arms are going to be hurting and I don't know if you're going to quite get it because this is softened butter and this is peanut butter. They're very soft but it's going to be hard to get them all incorporated together like they need to be. So you're just going to put it down and you're going to whisk it until it's all combined. And you want to make sure you scrape down the sides in between a couple passes just so that you get all that good peanut butter and butter mixed together. All right, and once your butter and peanut butter look like a nice light whip form of peanut butter, you're gonna get it. Just make sure you scrape it down one last time. Well, it's not the last time, but the last time for these two ingredients because we're gonna add some of their buddies in. All right, we're gonna add just a little bit of our powdered sugar. Don't put it all in at one time because you are gonna end up with that big cloud of powdered sugar that no one wants to ever clean up. So we're just gonna put a little bit, I'd say about a quarter of what you got in here. And then we're just gonna put it down and mix it up for a little longer. It is gonna get a lot thicker, but it's okay. We have half a cup of milk here that you're gonna add um, alternating with your powdered sugar just to get it nice and smooth and get it all put together and then once you're done with that I'll be right back and show you what the final product supposed to look like and after you get all that mixed in you're gonna want to scrape it down one more time because we're gonna add just a little bit of vanilla and get a nice deeper flavor going so you're just gonna add Splash of vanilla. I usually do about um, a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half, depending on how strong you want your vanilla flavor. It's not going to be super strong. Uh, it is just going to give a little bit of an extra oomph to it. So just mix that in. And there you go. We've got peanut butter, buttercream. All right, now that we're done letting these cool, we got to get them out of the pan. All right, now we got them all out of the pan. I got a 829 Ateco tip. You could use any kind of star tip you want. I fill the piping bag with our peanut butter buttercream. You're just going to make nice little swirls and cut it off. And there we go. I'm just going to ice the rest of the cupcakes. And I'll be right back with you. Now that they're all iced, we're going to take Reese's Pieces out of the bag. I'm just going to put five on each one. You got to press them in a little bit just so they'll stick. Do a couple for you. And that'll be it. And just do them for the rest of the cupcakes. All right, and here we go. We got our cupcakes. I'm not going to tilt it too far. They'll fall on the floor, and we don't want that. We got them on this nice little tray. I don't know why, because I thought it was cute. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please comment below any other things that you'd like me to try out. And hit that subscribe button. I'd love to grow my channel, so I want to see you subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye! Again, I hate myself so much.